the Pantry Kitchen. I'm Catherine and today I'm going to show you two recipes and one cookie base. So we're going to make oatmeal raisin cookies out of it and oatmeal chocolate chunk. So let's get started. In, in my bowl I'm going to cream together both my sugars, my vanilla extract, and my butter. And my butter, you can have it slightly melted or softened will work. I had a little bit of cold butter in here so I had to kind of melt it just to be able to cream it with my sugars and with my handheld electric mixer I'm just going to mix it up just until it's nice and creamy. Now that those are all creamed together we're going to add in the egg and whisk again. Making a mess. That's what that's what we're doing nowadays, okay? We're just making a mess in the kitchen. Right, now that we got that creamed up, we're gonna add in all of our dry ingredients. And like I said, this is one base that you can add in any fixings that you want. So I'm just going to stir this in now. And then once we have this part finished, I'm going to separate the dough and then we can stir in our fixings. So just take your time working in all of the flour. And again, like every other cookie recipe that I make and cookie dough, we're going to chill it before we bake it. And this one too holds up well in the freezer so that you can just bake as many as you need or as many as you want and then keep the rest in the freezer. Especially for those late night cravings, because we're all staying up a little bit later nowadays. You can pop in a couple of cookies and satisfy that craving as opposed to baking the whole tray. But you can totally do that too. So now that I have this all worked in, I'm just gonna separate it in half. That looks pretty good. And you can double, triple this recipe as much as you want and as many cookies as you want to freeze. This is just a base recipe, and you should have pretty much all these ingredients on hand too. All right, I've got my one bowl with the oatmeal raisin, and the cinnamon works really well, especially in these cookies, but in both. It's not too much that you have to make two separate doughs just because of the cinnamon, but if you don't like the cinnamon in the chocolate ones, you can totally omit it until this point, and then just sprinkle in some cinnamon these together too and then we'll go ahead and scoop them on our tray. That's how I prep each 60 cookies at a time. Look at this. What is this going to give me? Nine? Oh god, am I perfect or what? JK. Just pretend we don't have that. Can we do that? Is that a thing? Oh, I'm going to put that in slow motion. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now the next one. Should add that there. Is that out of there? You should have zoomed in when you did that. Did what? Just plop <laughs> that it in there. It's all good. Full time. It'll be a goat. Ah, da, da, da. <laughs> That's my goat. <laughs> I don't even know how to do a goat. Okay. Time to chill. Now that they're chilled, we can go ahead and pop them in a 350 degree oven. They'll both take the same amount of baking time. And just on the chocolate ones, I'm just popping a little bit of sea salt on top. Now they'll bake for 12 to 14 minutes. Time to taste. Oh, is that on the whole time? No, I just turned it on. Oh guys, I can't resist. I gotta go in for the chocolate one because don't get me wrong, I love me some oatmeal raisin, but you know me and my chocolate. And like, oh, when you chop the chocolate yourself, you just get shards of chocolate that just melt and then you get chunks and it's the perfect combination. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I need a glass of milk. My favorite thing to do is use, if you don't like dark chocolate, give it a try in something sweet. 65% um, cacao or 65% cocoa 
whatever you read on the label, or higher. One, it's gonna be better for you, has less sugar added, it's more of the real stuff. Use that in all your sweet things, cookies, brownies, all that kind of stuff, because you're gonna use good quality chocolate, better for you, and you get that kind of a little bit bitter, but your cookie base is sweet enough that it will provide the sweetness to your chocolate. So if you guys make these this weekend, comment below, let me know, share a photo with me on Instagram, and you guys have a wonderful weekend. Bye guys. Oh, what good timing we've got here in the kitchen today. Okay, Google, stop. That means the other recipe is ready.